what a day everyone so yesterday evening i settled into the new apartment in funchal on the western side just near formosa beach and now we're in i've got to read this out because i can never remember the place names until i get used to them it's miradoro do pico dos Barcelos, which is meant to be an amazing viewpoint on the north of Funchal where you can look southwards and see more or less the whole of the city and of course I'm going to show you that right now. So there's only a few steps you have to contend with when you get here so we'll start with the right side looking down and in that direction would be towards Camara de la Bosch which is another district. We might visit that spot later on in this vlog and so down a few steps here and it's been a lovely sunny day for the most part. A few clouds and that, but nothing worth worrying about. But just look at that view towards the Atlantic Ocean facing southwards of Funchal, the capital of Madeira. And it amazes me on how they build these houses at the side of the mountain. And there's so many of them. And here's some information about Miradoro Pico dos Barcelos, which you can read in your own time. So hit the pause button as per usual. And I've just moved as far forward as I can on this viewpoint. So we're just in front of the stack bar Vendo de Pico. And you can actually hear the traffic now from down below. You're a little bit more closer, but a bit lower than the previous point. But the altitude is approximately 355 meters. So we left that viewpoint behind in Funchal and we're now 1,094 meters in altitude at Era de Cerrado, which is the main viewpoint of Nuns Valley. I'll get that in Portuguese. <laughs> Corral das Freiras. Hopefully I've pronounced that right. So I'm trying here before you scold me for it. So it's a bit of a walk to get to that viewpoint, approximately five to 10 minutes, depending on your pace. But it's lovely nonetheless, because I was here about five and a half years ago. Cute bird box at the top there. And to my left, as I'm heading up to the viewpoint, there's that long and windy mountain road I had to contend with, which was very sketchy in places. So you're less than a minute onto the path, and this is the first view of the village in Nuns Valley. There is a hiking trail down there, and I think I see it down below, or is that the road? But after all the hiking I've done over the last few days, I don't know whether I chance it or not, or just simply drive to the village, because it's famous for its chestnut products. But anyway, resuming the path, this is what to expect in front of you. It's well made, well paved, and there's no chance of falling off the side of the cliff with those railings there. It is somewhat substantially cooler up here, so luckily I brought a top with me to keep me warm because down in Funchal is total contrast with it being a lot warmer. We are after all in the mountains and there are clouds. If you can see above there, we've more or less reached the cloud level. So that's why it does feel nippy. And this is it people, we have made it to the top. Miradoro de, gotta look it up again. <laughs> Miradoro era do Cerrado, the viewpoint of Nuns Valley. Yes, I am a bit wrecked because I just uh, 
hopped up as fast as I could to get here. It's barely five minutes, so I'll just show you the view in front of me now. There's a viewing platform, of course, and there you have it. Looking right down into Nuns Valley, which I believe in the Middle Ages, this is where the nuns used to hide when they were attacked by pirates in Funchal. And so from that viewpoint, you could see a village from up above. I'm now down at that village, Corral das Freiras, a nun's valley. And I thought I'd explore it because I don't think many people who do go up on that viewpoint, which is incidentally way up there, do actually get to come down here. Just one of the many shops below, which has a huge range of local liqueurs. This is a chestnut liqueur and to drink shake. Oh, and how much is that? 7.50. 7.50. And this is a 3. 3 euro. And 4.50. 4.50. Yes. What's your name? Jackie. Jackie. Obrigado, Jackie. And the name of this shop is? Valle das Freiras. Valle das Freiras. Okay. Thank you. I've come to the edge of the village now and there's a tunnel just there to my right. But even though it's gone cloudy and still a bit nippy, there's an amazing waterfall right there in front of me with the clouds just on top of that mountain there. So it's coffee time now. I've stopped off at Flora Corral Bar and I got myself a galau. And the beauty of it, it was only 90 cent. I'm going to try this, give you my opinion of it. and it is good. I'll give you a rating down below. Mmm. <laughs> and I didn't even have to ask for it to be extra hot. It just came as is. Cheers. <laughs> and of course, almost every village here has its quaint church and the clock is the right time. And actually, all the way up there, that's the viewpoint where I was when I was looking down to this village. Just below the church, I've never seen anything like this. A cemetery as such, or a crematorium, with all the names of the people and flowers. It really is so ornately done. There's a church just up above there, but it really is so spick and span and tidy. And so we're back at the liquor shop and Silvano is offering us some samples. First one is ginger, which is made from cherries. So I'm gonna try this one out, give your opinion. Oh, you can smell the cherries on it. Wow, that is, that's delicious. How the chestnut? The next one is chestnut. Chestnut. So, Saud, <laughs> Saud. That's interesting. It has a nut taste to it, definitely. Hmm. I could go for that. And eucalyptus. Let's see how this one fares. I was half expecting it to taste like mouthwash, but it is a more pleasant version. It's good. Maybe not my thing, but it is good. This one is pineapple. So let's try the pineapple one. Yes, this one's delicious. And maybe passion fruit. Obrigado. Obrigado. And this is a passion fruit one. Hmm. Not bad. 
I think. Maybe the... Banana. Try the banana, last one. And here's my final sip, the banana. And that is good. You can absolutely chase the bananas in that one. Mm. Okay, decisions, decisions. I'm gonna choose something, so. And we're in Silvano's other shop, which is a bakery as well and a cafe. So could you tell me about what you have here? This is the bread, the chestnuts. Uh-huh. The pastel, the chestnuts, the cream. This is chestnut and cheese. This is the chestnut cake. It's best to come in here when you're hungry. Cheesecake. And the cheesecake. The chestnuts. Oh, chestnut. They're all made out of chestnuts as well. Wow, a good selection. Obrigado. Here is that church. The landscape is bloody fantastic. You can see the waterfall a lot clearer now. I'm walking on black sand and the waves have splashed me. 